guys, this is Shannon with Shannon McTighe Photography. I just wanted to come on here and show you how you would use your sky overlays on your images with the Tiny Dancer collection. So for the sky overlays, what you would first want to do is go up to the top of your page where it says edit and click on the sky replacement option. You would then from there come over here to this area. It's going to pre-populate one of the skies that may already be saved. They also come with default ones. So you're going to want to go find the sky that makes the most sense for your image. So you can come in here and you can click this plus sign and then you go find the folder for your sky overlays and you find the sky that makes the most sense for you. So if I'm scrolling down, I'm trying to see, let's see which one. It may already, I may have even uploaded it. I might click this one right here. So you want to find one that makes the most sense and then click on that right here. So when I look at that, I like the colors, but obviously it still looks a little bit fake. So what I'm going to do is come over here and I can manipulate some of it right here. I can brighten it with the brightness right here, which I think I will pull it there. You can warm it up right here and you can cool it down. I think I'll have it a little bit cooler because what I'm looking at is there in blue hours, so it makes sense that it's a little bit cooler. You can also scale it. You can make it quite large. You can click flip and it'll flip it to the other side, which for this image might make more sense that the sunlight is coming from the left corner. And then just move it to where it makes sense for you. And you can see how it comes off the page. So about right there for me. The next thing I'm going to do is just hit OK. And you can see right down here, it has a folder. It says Sky Replacement Group. And all the different things you've done to the sky are underneath it. What I typically do is close it up, click on the group, and click on a mask. Now I can actually manipulate it, erase it, lower the opacity of it, just do what I need to do with the sky by working on the entire group. So I get a black brush and I'm gonna stay at 40% opacity and I just don't want it to look so cut and piece. So I'm just gonna erase it a little bit around the edges of the mountains here. I might even erase a tiny bit right there. And that's cause I want to blend it in. And so now that I look at that, I'm like, that actually looks pretty good. If you wanna get rid of the jet smoke, you can get rid of that there. But I like that better. And then I can come over here and turn the eye off and on. And you can see that now it actually looks a lot more realistic. And that is how I use my sky overlays in my photos. Thank you. If you have any other questions or you're looking for more information on the Tiny Dancer collection, please go to www.greaterthangodspeed.com.